In this video, I would like to try and convert this um, LED bulb. There's only a, a 3 watt one, and um, this one was from Poundland. It's non dimble, and I want to convert it into full on and a soft night glow mode. Um, so we're going to put a little switch in it, only a tiny little switch like this. We're going to put it in the top so that if you permanently want it on low glow, it just softly glows. So, first so, thing we need to do is we need to we need to crack it open. So I think if we just slide along here, we should just pop it open. So I think it's just friction fit. I oh know it's slightly glued in. Okay. So let me just mount it there. What we got is we've got a the AC coming in. Um, it says FR. I presume there's a fuse on this line here or fusible resistor. Um, but it comes in. Um, and then it goes to this bridge rectifier here. And then after that, it, this um, chip here um, regulates the current. It's like a current, constant current regulating chip that rides the sine wave up and down and uh, regulates the, the current of the LED so they don't get over current. Um, what we're going to do is just before the bridge rectifier, we're going to put a capacitor in line with one of the um, AC lines. Looks like the neutral will be the easiest one to do. So we're respectively going to put it between there and there, the one input of the bridge rectifier. So we're going to break that connection there. The easiest place to, to break it would be just, just there. And then we can have the capacitor going between there and there. And I think what the switch would do is simply bridge out the capacitor. So when it bridges out the capacitor, it'll be on maximum. And when the switch is turned off, then um, the capacitor would be in line. And what the capacitor does, it acts as a um, volt dropping circuit. Um, so the capacitor will limit, as, as the, the LED lamp draws a load, on the AC side, uh, the capacitor has a type of AC resistance. Yeah, so it's a type of resistance. Um, you call it impedance um, for AC impedance. But a normal resistor would drop the voltage and generate some heat. Um, but if you if you use a capacitor, it doesn't do that. Um, it just drops the voltage without without generating any heat. So it's it's quite efficient way of of um, dropping the voltage to uh, an LED bulb. And it's used in lots of cheap LED lamps without generating all that heat and wasting energy. So I think what we need to do, we need to break that connection there. Because this is a track that along, runs all the way to there. I don't want to break the track on the board because there's aluminium underneath and I don't want to short the aluminium. So I think we can just carefully break this little link there. And with that, I think I'm just going to use the side cutters just to uh, nibble away at it. There we go. It seems to be nicely broken. So let's uh, put a little dot of solder on it. This is a 100 nanofarad capacitor, but you can use various sizes depending on the brightness you want. So that should now effectively limit the current um, to the LEDs. But what we want to do is we now want two wires connected across there to the switch. So I think what we can do is we can bend this up so that it doesn't interfere with the light coming out from the LEDs too much. Take the switch across it quickly. Let's power it up. Right. We have to be 
careful because it's live right so full brightness and dim mode now of course um, I need to unsolder the switch because uh, that's just the way it is if you uh, need to poke the wires through this hole Okay, I think that's going to work. Okay, so that's uh, that's soldered on. So hopefully this will click in nicely. The switch. Let's have a look. So that is our little switch on top of the bulb. So let's give that a test. should be a full brightness that's dim now it doesn't look very different but in to me that's very bright and very dim so that works here we have our little uh, dimmable lamp so it's basically just for a very soft light or proper light so you can read so this is on the data sheet you can see the capacitor with the switch across it that I have connected in line with the neutral. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Let me know if uh, you want me to make any specific video or anything interesting to watch. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment and share. I'll see you next time.